Hello fellow exiles and welcome, welcome to this very complicated experiment. There is uh, much of a debate, uh, lastly in the forums, regarding the cyclone mechanics and to be more specific, how cyclone hits. Because, as you can read in a wiki, Cyclone spins at the player's attack speed and deals area of effect damage twice per spin. However, there is not explained in the text, and I believe it was never really explained, whatever those hits are separated by the same amount of time, or they are happening at the same time, or maybe they are behaving a different uh, way. So. It is very important to know that, because if you want to include a cyclone in your build, especially in a spell trigger build like Mjolnir, you need to know that. The way I was thinking how to test this was by using the Life Gain on Hit gem. Because if you read the description of this gem, it says that it gains you a certain amount of life per hit. So not per attack, not per skill cast but per hit. So, if Cyclone hits twice per APS, we can observe that with the life gain on hit support gem by gaining a certain amount of life back. Right? Simple. So, in order to conduct this very complicated experiment, I need a new fresh character that has absolutely zero life regeneration, zero life leech, and yet it is able to, you know, use the at least level one cyclone with life gain on hit. So here it is. This is our guy, uh, my standard guy that I equip him with only cyclone and life gain on hit. I will remove that dagger for now, so we won't kill our host, our target, very very quickly. And I just added to him some jewelry to cover the stats requirements and I also gave him this shield right here because I didn't want our accuracy to mess up our experiment. So with this shield our guy has 100% chance to hit and the slowest attack speed that I could achieve with totally unspecced character using, you know, unarmed weapon and level 1 cyclone with just life gain on hit is you know 1.8 APS so now we will see how this behaves if cyclone hits in a linear matter meaning that each hit is separated by the same amount of time during our 1.8 APS we will see the linear gain gained life by the life gain on hit gem if cyclone hits any other way for example two hits being uh, immediately at the beginning of the APS and then nothing, we will also see that by gaining our life in non-linear matter. So let's try this out. Alright, so this is our dude that will help do our very complicated experiment. Let's do, let's let him do his job for a minute for now, right? He will try hard, I believe, yeah. Come on, boy. A few more. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, come on. Come on, don't be shy. For the mummy. For the mummy. Yep. Alright. Now for the daddy. Oh, come on. Yeah, good. A few more. Come on. Yes. Alright, I think we have enough life to observe our life gain on hit in our APS cyclone. Let's do that. So, as you just saw, I was gaining my life in a linear matter, uh, 50 life per each hit in the same, uh, you know, time differences between one and another. So, this conduct our experiment and thanks for watching.